Lady Day Doll, and Make Connect TV, and I'm here with the Hawk. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Muhammad Shahid. <laughs> its fight name is the Hawk, but they'll all inter- they'll know you from your fight name. Oh right? yeah, everybody. They'll know you. Then <laughs> um, thank you very much for taking the time. Thank you for to having me. What's have you seen her her show before? Yeah, definitely. Have you? Yeah. Very good. Well, I'm we're getting my business. So. Oh well, there you go. Yeah. There you go. And we've had we've interviewed James Gallagher, Gallagher. quite a bit as yeah. well. Yeah. Um, but obviously we're here in the Hilton Hotel um, for a KHK MA and Brave Combat Federation about the plans that are going to unfold over the next couple of months here in right. Ireland and obviously globally. Um, thank you for having us, first of all. It was oh, great. This is our first press conference. Really? Yeah, MMA That's awesome. One. Yeah, we're going to have cool. much more. That's good. We're going to make sure that you're going to be in all of our press conferences. Good. We'll, we'll be here. You can, you can conf- confirmation I will be at all of them. Yeah, it Done. was very, very good. You know, obviously the setup was very professional and, you know, it was great to see all the other Irish MMA media here as well. Um, getting to speak to you and, and see what hear about the plans coming forward. For some of our viewers that might not know about Brave or KHK MMA, explain a little bit about. So, uh, KHK MMA is a program. Uh, it's, it's an organization and it's a program that we created to help fighters mm-hmm. to make sure that these fighters have a different lifestyle like any other athletes out there, uh, whether it's football, NFL, or baseball. Mm-hmm. And uh, want to make so, so the whole goal was for us to have fighters uh, have a better lifestyle. Yeah. And uh, we didn't know how to do it. Uh, this is so much things going on in the business of MMA. So we're like, you know what? Let's take the easy road out. Just get these fighters, help them with uh, all the resources that they need. Simple yeah. as that. You know, if we think about more business oriented, the, the ROIs and all that stuff, uh, we're going to break our heads, you know? So yeah, the yeah. easiest way is just help them. So we did that for the past one year. We signed in uh, top notch fighters like Frankie Edgar, Khabib Nurmagomedov, uh, Islam Makhachev. And who are in the UFC at the high level and then we also sign fighters who are uh, developing at the pro level like Eldar Eldarov uh, from Russia, uh, Hamza Kohiji from Bahrain uh, and uh, what we also want to do was develop the up-and-coming guys mm-hmm. uh, who are just signing for the pro level. Uh, so guys who finish their amateur level like James Gallagher, uh, Franz Mlambo, uh, Shorty Torres. Mm-hmm. And in one year's time, you'll see Frank Edgar getting a title shot. You'll see uh, Khabib Nurmagomedov coming back from his injury and doing his rehab back in Bahrain uh, and do- performing very well in his uh, events. And then that's okay, but what makes me really smile is uh, when I see f- the amateur fighters who come into pro level, like Shorty Torres gets signed on his first press conference day in Bahrain yeah. uh, to Titan FC and then go on to win uh, the Mantaweight title, and James Gallagher gets signed into Bellator MMA. Mm-hmm. And uh, that achievement was great, and the greater achievement is Franz Malambo getting signed into Brave Combat Federation. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> so all of these guys did great. I mean, mm-hmm. uh, the, 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 uh, and. We, we thought that the result is great and we yeah. want to do something bigger for them and uh, not just for them but for the whole uh, MMA community. How can we take it from 10 fighters to 20,000 fighters, you know? How can we do that for them? So that's when we sat down and uh, the vision of His Highness came into play and uh, uh, Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad al-Khalifa who's, who, who's the man behind all of this vision and he sat down and he said, you know what, Muhammad, let's do a thing. Uh, let's start our own promotion called Brave Combat Federation. So... Uh, it was supposed to be Brave, but then there was a, there was an animation movie on Brave, so I was like, damn it, it's, every time you put it on Google, that's just the one that's coming, so we go with Brave Combat Federation. Yeah, it still, it still sounds good, though, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so Brave Combat Federation, uh, that's how the name came up, but, but uh, what we wanted to do was, like I always say, uh, we're we not a promotion that's looking for a story. Mm-hmm. Uh, I think that the fighters are the uh, real bosses in our promotion, and uh, we work for them, so my job is to make sure that we do justice to them and my job is not to look for a story in these fighters and choose the fighter who has a story but my job as Brave Combat Federation is to tell their stories to the rest of the world and how, how can I l- let the whole world know what their story is mm-hmm. and that's most important for us so uh, and we want to fight uh, the MMA business that's happening right now in the, in the MMA world which is uh, amazing they've done so much for MMA but it's, it's so, much to, so much room for improvement yeah. and with Brave Combat Federation we want to make sure that every fighter uh, leads their way and uh, these fighters become a national hero or, or, or they get the exposure that they deserve and uh, can we provide that mm-hmm. uh, that's uh, that's one of our biggest uh, let's say challenges and uh, okay. that's why we're here in Europe right mm-hmm. now we were in Bahrain we took over the Middle East we're here in uh, Europe we're going, going to India we're going to Brazil we're going all over the world to make sure that uh, global tour yes well, if you need 
um, a TV presenter to come with you. <laughs> there you go. You, you have to come with <laughs> me. To go come with you. <laughs> make a documentary <laughs> out of what we're doing. It would be awesome. <laughs> but do you think that because you were a fighter and because you've lived that lifestyle, you know what's important and you know that it is about the fighter? Do you think that attributes to it? Oh, for sure. I mean, uh, so the only place where MMA existed uh, seven years back was in my brain, in Bahrain, you know. Yeah. <laughs> That's what I would say. But... Uh, I had to, there was no MMA gyms in Bahrain, there was nothing. I had to, uh, uh, I had to uh, quit my high school and uh, get a lot of beating from my parents, but <laughs> yeah. quit my high school and uh, say that I want to learn the MMA business and be a fighter. So I quit my high school, I started training and uh, preparing nine hours a day, either it's learning MMA uh, business or uh, training. No friends, no partying, no girlfriend, nothing, none of those sorts, you know, just, just focus on, uh, cut out the social life and focus on the business yeah. of MMA. I had to teach students uh, in the beaches and place wherever I can, mm-hmm. get money and travel to Thailand and get f- fights and live on protein shakes, you yeah. know, because I couldn't afford food, so I used to buy a protein shake from Bahrain because it's cheaper, and fly to Thailand and eat that for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. I lost 30 kgs a month, but... <laughs> you need to start doing a book on weight cuts, just protein shakes. I'm the best at weight cutting, you know, so, <laughs> so <laughs> that's my specialty. Everybody knows how much I cut, a wa- cut weight uh, before the fight, so... My lifestyle has been tough. I had to come back and market myself, promote myself, do everything for myself. Uh, I didn't want that for the rest of the generation. So when I had my students come up, Hamza Kohiji, who's the number one fighter in Bahrain, is my student. But when these guys came up, I wanted to make sure that their life is different, you know? And uh, when their lives became different, I wanted everybody else's life to be different. Uh, But that's when I met His Highness, and uh, I sat down with him for two to three hours, and everything I heard about what he said was like, wow, you know, it's it's crazy. Uh, It's crazy because he has the same vision what I have, and he's like, why aren't these fighters getting paid enough? And I'm like good question you know yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I don't know and they're like why are they getting paid per fight you know they, yeah. they, 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 these guys should, should have their own values and stuff like that I'm like it all makes sense you know it, all it is very true because what you see happen I mean especially in, in European MMA is that you have fighters that get paid for their shows and they might get paid you know well for yeah. for, for, um, for fighting on the night but when you take in a 10 week fight camp and you take in all the people that are involved in that fight camp and breaking down paying them paying yourself live you know it's, it's definitely not enough so this yeah. is something that is, is primarily for the fighter by the fighter you know yeah. what I mean um, so was there a reason why you decided to have the headquarters in Ireland oh yeah I mean for sure I mean uh, the pace of how uh, MMA is growing in Ireland uh, we love that speed you know um, and yeah. uh, you look at 2015 March is when we started uh, KHK MMA we did a press conference in August of 2015 uh, signed up uh, 10 pro fighters they achieved so much uh, by January 2015 and we launched uh, KH, uh, Brave Combat Federation in uh, August or August of 2016 between that we built an amateur uh, team that we supported them to go to world championships European championships uh, and another world championship and we got our first bronze medal in Europeans first bronze medal in world championship all this happening in one year yeah. and we had a company now t- today the company is uh, one of the largest media companies in the Middle East. So uh, all this happening in just one year. So our pace of going mm-hmm. is, is crazy. And uh, Ireland's pace of MMA growth is also crazy. It fits with us, you know? Well, we feel like we own MMA over here because obviously Connor and, you know, we kind of, we, f- we feel very protective of the sport. And you know, that's why it's so successful over here, you True. know? And True. the speed o- that it is growing, obviously, is, is a huge factor. So something like this is very positive for the sport, especially Irish MMA. Definitely. And, uh, and it's perfect that Connor is the example for the rest of the uh, generation here mm-hmm. and that's a beautiful example uh, and I always uh, say a few, few people that I really respect are uh, athletes like Connor McGregor, uh, Cristiano Ronaldo in football, mm-hmm. uh, Floyd Mayweather in boxing I don't, I, there might be a lot of haters for all of these fighters, you know, all yeah. these athletes you know. but these are the athletes that, 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 that stood their ground and told their story mm-hmm. regardless of anything else they, they told their story to the world and the world came to know it and uh, not every fighter or athlete can do that yeah and I think it's time for the promotions to take up the job mm-hmm. and be able to tell the stories, not just make uh, videos of them, content about them and, you know, uh, beautiful content about these fighters and make the fight look crazy. Not hyping the fight, but tell their stories. Yeah. And tell their stories. Write a book about them if you have to, you know. Yeah. I know that's going to take a lot of your time from the promotion business, but go ahead and do it, you know. Yeah. I mean, that's what these fighters require. And uh, imagine a football athlete is said, you're going to fight every weekend or you're going to play every weekend. The rest of the days, we're going to cut down your salaries because you're not playing. Yeah. If that's the case, then I should be able to play in another club the other days. Exactly. You know? So if you're signed up for a promotion for two, two years, 
it, it's, it's crazy, you know. I mean, the, the system is completely upside down. But uh, I understand the situation because the growth of MMA is. Uh, just started yeah. it's still a young sport and there's so much room for improvement mm -hmm. and i think we're going to make a change we're going to open a lot of eyes from promoters to managers to fighters to look up to what brave combat federation KHK MMA and the vision of his highness is doing and uh, in um, the next one year maybe everybody does what we do you know That's and uh, mma is going to just get better but that day we might be below because everybody takes over but even then i will sit down and smile and say that we changed it Absolutely. You know? We're a revolution is starting here. There we're we go. to be here. The revolution is coming, right? Yeah. <laughs> but listen, before I let you go, um, obviously a lot of our viewers that watch the show, um, they're young fans, they're new to Irish MMA, but then we also have a lot of the older fans that, you know, have followed the sport the whole way through. What would you say to them um, about this show that's coming up uh, next year, next spring, I think you're going to be back? I, th I think uh, all of these fighters need to uh, look up to what Brave Combat Federation is really doing. Mm -hmm. uh, we are here to educate uh, everybody in the sport of mixed martial art. Uh, not because we have a great background in mixed martial art, but it's it's because we really feel for the fighters. Yeah. And uh, we're starting a new system to educate them, to make them understand what is a real product. It's not your promotion, it's the fighters. And uh, it might not look nice to the business eyes of <laughs> most of the promoters, but uh, yeah. uh, I think all the fighters, uh, young, old fighters they, they all have an idea they all have all of these fighters have an idea of how to improve the sport and uh, we love to hear a lot of uh, suggestions from these older fighters who are retired even and uh, you look at our promotion we have our athlete relations head is pete williams hall of famer in ufc this uh, july uh, our events director is uh, alex soto who's an ex ufc fighter current titan fc fighter and then you look at me i'm another fighter as well so yeah. basically we're a bunch of fighters doing uh, putting a, uh, uh, a promotion together so we understand the fighters all about the fighters so i think let the fighters take notice, bravefights.com, uh, at BraveMMAF on all our social media. Just watch us, see what we do, and you guys, all of these fighters need to learn how to increase their values and develop your value. And uh, I, I, I think uh, don't rely too much on uh, going to a promotion that's going to hopefully give you a lot of exposure, but uh, make sure that you go to a promotion uh, that creates more opportunities for you. Yeah. And uh, it's 2016. You know, we all have uh, our social media and uh, telephones to show the world that, uh, uh, to tell our stories. But we are going to make a bigger media company to tell their stories for them. Mm -hmm. And um, if they like to have their stories told to the rest of the world, come to Brave Combat Federation. Ooh. There you go. Yeah. You, you're going to have a list. That was you're nice. Be, uh, that was a nice ending. <laughs> yeah, that yeah. was like perfect ending. Yeah, well, you're going to have a million emails tomorrow morning or whenever <laughs> this goes out you're gonna you're gonna have them all coming at you i already have it i already get so much emails after cage came me but uh and I, and I make sure that i look at each and every one of them myself you know mm -hmm. uh although my athlete relations are like hey you gotta give it to me as well you know i mean like that's his job but i love to look at it and read it you know to, to see what's the flaws and what do they think you know yeah. and what do they really want and uh it's beautiful to know what the fighters really want, you know. I, I know there are ambitious fighters, there are, there are greedy fighters, there are, there are so many kinds of fighters, but they're all fighters, you know, yeah. and uh, they all love the sport, they all love fighting. Absolutely. So. I would have done the same thing, so uh, I'm excited true. to know their story. Well, thank you very much. It was a pleasure to be here, me. and thank you for taking the time to do the thank interview. And we look forward to having you back, and um, I'm excited to see how, how Brave uh, Combat Federation and KHK expands over here. So Explodes, explodes yeah. Explodes, explodes. <laughs> so we'll be right behind it, covering it all. <laughs> oh, oh, that'll be awesome. That'll be awesome. <laughs> thank you very much. The thank Hawk you. for MMA Connect TV.